crazy fam, guess where I just came from? If you couldn't hear that, I said hello crazy fam or welcome to today's video. I just got back from doing a bunch of shopping. It is so hot out though. I love it, but I don't at the same time, but I love it. And when it gets cold, I will want this back. So I'm not gonna complain about it at all. I just came back, I did a bunch of grocery shopping, I went to Dollar Tree, I went somewhere else, and I just wanna haul it all for you, okay? So I definitely did not go crazy, but I bought a few things like my essentials. So this haul kind of gives you an idea of what I buy like all the time, like restocking. So to start off with, I have a bunch of pasta. So I like the Barilla pasta. I find spending a little bit more than on the like, Kroger because I shop at Ralph's. So the store name brand, I think is like Kroger or something. And Kroger is usually the cheapest option. And it is in the case of pasta. But I find spending a little bit more on this kind worth it to me. So I got penne, I got medium shells. And last but not least, I got rot rotoni, rotani, rotoni. I'm not sure how you say that. You know, this stuff right here, the little swirly kind. And then in that kind of family of everything, I got rice. So one of my classic like restock all the time, well not all the time because I usually buy the big version, is a Minute Maid rice. They've been out of this stuff at the grocery store lately and all they have this little tiny box that is smaller than a cereal box and kind of pointless and I go through it so quickly. So since it is so small and that's all they had, I end up buying two of them. So hopefully it'll last me a little bit longer. And then kind of similar to that family, especially the rice family, is I got the rice-a-roni. My mom got me the kind that you can like put in the microwave, like easy, quick ones. And I loved them so much that I decided I wanted them for like meal meals, not for like on-the-go food, to so I can have them on the side with things. So I got the cheddar for cheese kind. I think it's delicious. I actually still do make it in the microwave because I don't know, I'm one of those people that I'm very lazy with rice and I'm one of those people that's really lazy with rice and I won't cook it on the stove. I just cook it in the microwave. I find it tastes the same to me. And then I obviously, obviously had to stock up on cheese. So I got a the biggest bag they have of the Cheddar Jack shredded cheese. Normally I get the Mexican blend, but they've been out of it for the last like four times I've been there which is crazy, but I don't know why that kind is the one that sells out. And then I am almost at them, so I just got some storage freezer bags. I often don't use like plastic bags because I have reusable ones, but when it comes to freezing stuff, obviously I need this. And then I got a giant thing of tin foil. It's like 200 feet. It is like so much freaking tin foil. If you could like feel how heavy this is compared to the rest of tin foil, I just want to get it and not have to buy it for a while. Same thing with the trash bags. I just got an 80 pack of the tall kitchen drawstring Kroger trash bags that will hopefully last me a while because I am out. And that's just one of the things you don't want to have to go to the grocery store for all the time. I couldn't help it, but I caved and I bought not milk specifically, but I bought it's all the way over here. I bought cereal. So I bought frosted mini wheats. I was just craving some cereal and especially like this kind of cereal. I want another kind that I couldn't find, but either way, since I got that, I obviously had to get milk. My favorite is the silk almond milk in vanilla. It's like this. I'm not a big fan of the almond joy kind, which I know a lot of people get. I actually really don't like it that much, especially for cereal. And then I get vanilla because it tastes so good, but it makes you can't really put it in like pasta or anything, but you know, it's not for that really. And what else did I get here? Oh, I got a giant thing of popcorn. I don't normally buy popcorn and like trash bags and tinfoil and stuff from Ralph's, but I don't feel like it's worth making a Target trip for, so I bought it there. And I got a giant thing of just regular movie theater popcorn from Kroger. They didn't really have any options of flavors. So I got a giant thing of butter. I kind of want to get car, car uh. I kind of wanted to get kettle corn ones too, but they didn't have it. So I just stuck with a giant box of the movie theater one. And there's a few last things I got. One thing I actually got for free. So if you're curious about that, I'll tell you how I got it. And then I got like four bags of frozen peas. I got a few bags of frozen corn just to sack up. I do have a bunch of canned green beans that I haven't ate because I didn't have a can opener, which leads me to why I went to the Dollar Tree, which was for a can opener. I also went to the Dollar Tree for rubbing alcohol and to see if they had a black light flashlight. They had neither. They had hand sanitizer, but not rubbing alcohol, unfortunately. But they did still have a can opener so that I can open up my green beans and finally actually eat them. I've had them in the cabinet forever. And what else did I get? I got Roma tomatoes. I only got three because a lot of the tomatoes were kind of like, starting to get moldy and squishy and they were gross. So I just bought three. That's all I could really find that were like, you know, still good. And then last, 
but not least is my free item and it is a coca-cola energy drink i didn't even know they had energy drinks maybe it's like a new thing or something it also sounds like a horrible idea to mix soda with an energy drink because you know soda on its own is bad enough for you and then energy drinks are also not that great for you but to combine them together seems like a very interesting idea but we'll see how it tastes i got it for free because once in a while ralph's gives away like free things it used to be on fridays like every friday you could log on to the app click the coupon and then you had like so many days to redeem your free item it'd be like random things like a drink or advil or a granola bar like random small things but it was so cool to get a free item and you got to try something new but lately they haven't been giving away freebies on fridays and then i logged on today and it's thursday and they had a free clipping for this so i got it and that's cool and then oh there is one last thing sorry um the last thing i got which was from my third stop which i stopped at autozone to return my car battery and then i realized um at the grocery store beforehand and at autozone i was like my trunk is kind of hard to like lift up and down and i think it's the hydraulics and so I got recommended to someone to use silicone lubricant, wait, what? Silicone WD-40 stuff to make it so it goes up and down easier. So hopefully this will work. And if not, I might just have to replace the hydraulic thingies. But hopefully I won't because it seems a lot simpler and cheaper. So we're going to stick with this. And then that is everything I got at the store that is here. The other thing in my car is a giant pack of throwaway water bottles. I keep those in my trunk for, you know, like emergencies or I'm out somewhere and I don't want to buy water or, you know, I'm on a hike and I need to hydrate. I keep those. I brought a few inside though, just in case, you know, someone wants to go home and they're thirsty to have something in their car. But I prefer to use my glass ones in my mini fridge that you can, you know, keep filling up and wash. You're not throwing away a bunch of plastic. So I try to use these only when needed. So that is everything I have to put away and make some poppy corn. I am hungry and I should probably eat lunch, but instead I am craving some poppy corn. So I'm gonna make popcorn to eat. And I bought, like I said, this giant box, the movie theater kind. It has the little baggies inside. And I'm one of those people, I don't care about buying no name popcorn. I still think it tastes good. Okay, set for two minutes and 30 seconds. Let's get this bad boy in here. It's gonna be good. Probably not feeling enough because I haven't had lunch. I am finally off to go meet my friend and go to Home Depot. I actually put on some pants and I'm just wearing the same top because it's the only thing I can wear with my sunburn. I'm surprised I can even wear this. I'm feeling a little bit better than I was this morning though. And obviously the necessities is a mask. I hate vlogging in a mess, but I would much rather protect people. Gotta grab my keys and my bag. So we are ready to go get some stuff and probably forget almost everything I'm looking for. And since I haven't put batteries in my keys yet, I have to actually take them out of my bag, which is so weird to do. Wait, did I remember my keys? Okay, good. Makes it much easier when I do. And I have one key that is on the box still and one without, just because I haven't changed the battery yet, so I need to have an actual key key, which is so weird to me. And I also need to plug it in to start it. Like, this is not Prius things. Normally you just have your key in your bag and you're good. Time to go into a new Home Depot and hopefully they have what I'm looking for. Oh, oh. <laughs> Over here it is. <laughs> but that says return entrance. That says entrance. Return and Are you entrance. sure? Yes. <laughs> Where else would the entrance? Oh wait. That I think you're right. That is totally Wait, it. It says entrance. It I looks, told you it said entrance. It looks confusing. I know because it says entrance and exit. Yeah. <laughs> We're on this end, so we might as well look at the fake brick facade thing because I think it's on this side. Brick facade? It's like, it's basically shaved brick, so it's only thin. Oh. And it's panel, so it's not really real, real brick. Well, it's kind of real brick. Wait, you've never been in a Home Depot never. before? And it was How have you never been in a Home Depot? <laughs> I've never had to come here. I've been here so many times, especially when I first moved, like setting up those fake walls, which I did do a tour video of recently, so you're welcome to go check that out. And it shows you those fake temporary walls we built with many trips to Home Depot. <laughs> okay, let's find this brick facade though. I feel like it'd be somewhere, like here's like trim and stuff. So I feel like it'd be around here. I don't think it's... I don't think it's over here, but I just want to see the fake grass. It's fun to feel. Fake grass. Oh, this does not feel good. Yeah, it's fake grass. Well, yeah, but some fake grass doesn't feel that bad. 
I think this feels better than that stuff over there at least, but still, it's not that great. Yeah. See, if you want nice fake grass, you just gotta be rich. <laughs> Honestly. So time to go back where we came because the <laughs> worker said it was in aisle 20. So we're gonna try to find it. Even though at first he had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> he did not know what hopefully. I meant by a brick facade. So hopefully that's actually it. Because before he showed like this tiling thing, that was not it. <laughs> so let's see. 16, yeah, 20 is done here, right? Yeah. So we were, gosh darn, we're right we were right next to it. So it wasn't this, when were we in that aisle? No, we went to the next one. We went to the next one? No, because we had the trim. We were in the trim, so where is it? Oh yeah, we did, we did over there. Because I remember pointing out the trim, yeah. but looking for the brick facade. I don't see brick facade anywhere, do you? Is that what? Oh, that could be used for walls. Yeah. Well, trim will be on your walls too, same thing. But this is all they have is like the really thin brick facade. Sorry about the noise in the background, but this is all they have. It's like not a bad price or anything. It's just, it's not what I'm looking for. It's so thin. It's almost as fake as wallpaper look. And so it's kind of disappointing. It's not really an actual brick facade. It's like fake. Where am I trying to put it? Yeah. Trying to put so it in front of my window. Do you want me to go closer? <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm trying to put it on my window, so I'm gonna put like the curtains on both sides and I was thinking about making that wall look like it's a brick wall. So like putting it underneath my window and above and on the side, but not all the way across the wall because the, the blinds are gonna yeah. cover it. But let's go get to the bug stuff. I think it's gonna be like down by gardening because that's where it is in my Home Depot. You want a saw? <laughs> These are oh. not saws. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously thought what? it was a saw, it was a blower, and there's some weed whackers. I was like, definitely not saws, man. I just thought it was saw, I saw the handles and it seemed like that's what it was gonna be, like a chainsaw. Definitely a leaf blower. Definitely a leaf blower. Oh, there's all these plants, like some of these plants we had in the Home Depot near me. But, I don't know, they just look more lively. Like the ones we had at my Home Depot looked like they were dying. And these ones actually look healthy, like what? The point is, I think the bug comes over here. Wait, no, it's plant food. Yeah, we didn't have all these hanging plants at mine. So, plant food. No, I don't want plant food. I want bug killing. Maybe it's outside. Mine's inside. But, question. Do you know where like, the bug stuff is for plants? Aisle two. Aisle two? You see it's for the middle of the aisle and the left side. Thank you. Okay, so aisle two it is. I don't know either. This store is huge. I don't know how they do it. It's not. Okay, here it is. Do they have it? Okay, so these are the re these are the non reusable kind. I want the reusable, and they say online they have them, but they say it about my store too. Um, yes, they have it. This is the reusable kind, right? Yes, it is. Reusable. Is there only one? No, there's two. Do I want two? Do I want one? Well, my problem's kind of big, so maybe I do need a big Gosh, bottle. So far, yeah. I know! It's only one one of them. <laughs> only the right side. <laughs> At times, I don't know why it'll like fog up and then other times it won't, but it's only like one eye. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, breathe. Down. Be some air. <sighs> Unfog it up. What you laughing at? I never wear my glasses in a mask for this exact reason. Okay, but we gotta throw which bug spray is a better one. This seems like a mess, to be honest. Well, yeah, but that one's like... Sven. Oh, wait, is it 21 oh, or 13? Because yeah. I would buy it if it was 13. 13. What's it's 21 then? Ortho this. Oh, the big one. Yeah. Oh, it's like a hose setup. Yeah. Not a sprayer. I wanted a spray bottle one. Wait. It's a spray Whoa! bottle. <laughs> it's like behind that one. Yeah. I don't know how you saw that. Ready to use kills yeah, over 100 insects. How much is this one? 500. Five, 500 dollars? Oh no, this one? <laughs> yes, I can't believe you saw <laughs> that! The last one. Like that was perfect! <laughs> and it was behind something! Yeah. This is literally what I need, okay. When the shower's up here, you can't even like hop in it, but I like when they're down here. Because you can climb right inside and test it out! <laughs> I have no idea if I'm Probably not. It doesn't have a sign saying. It doesn't! No. If you don't have a sign, I'm gonna climb in. <laughs> like I'm a child at the but it's kind of cool though that they do that. It is cool. Dower are secured for your safety. It's not secured. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be secured. There we go. I re-secured you. This is, yeah, not secure. You can open these. Oh, this one's kind of scary. 
Oh, yeah. this one you can't open. It's supposed this one to be just broken. <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably broken. Alright, I wanted to test it out though. Okay, let's go because we got everything we need, so let's get out of here. Okay, here are returns up here, but let's go straight to like self checkout. Yeah. So let's go, let's go, let's go. We got our goodies. Yeah. Let's get out of here. That's a <laughs> okay, they said to go to number two, so let's get our stuff in here. Start scanning. Oh. Okay, you can just go right to scanning. Okay, let's see how not pretty my total is. Like, it is gross out. Look at how cloudy it is. But I kind of want a rainstorm. I haven't had one in forever. We can't wait to, I want it to rain. Tomorrow. Yeah, like, you don't get that that much here. So, rainstorm. I am judging this person in front of me so much right now. <laughs> Their license plate says, so fly. I'm pretty sure that makes you so not fly, buddy. Don't fuck. And I would honestly expect that license plate on that car more than on this Jeep. Like really? Yeah. But we are back home and I'm about to set up that gosh darn trap so I can hopefully deal with these bugs. You know what this means. I am about to go out in the world again because yes, I was just at Home Depot, what was it, yesterday? The day before? I can't actually remember how long ago it was, but it was really, really recently. And I was hanging up the curtain rods last night that I was showing you. And well, they're all up there, except for the fact that I have a little chunk that I knew I was going to need to either shorten the rod or need extra rod. I just ended up needing to shorten the rod, which is good, because I don't want to go back and buy another one. But I forgot that I established the fact that I was probably going to need to cut this rod, but never established how I was going to do it. And so if I realized this when I was at Home Depot, I could have gotten a hacksaw to cut it. And so now I'm going to Home Depot to get a hacksaw or to potentially have them do it for me if they're really nice and want to do it for me. So we shall see. But it means I'm going back to Home Depot and I'm probably going to hang out with my friend and get a free Popeye's sandwich because they're doing some online deal thing right now. So let's go out in the world and go get this car. Am I forgetting something? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Got my wallet, got my phone. Oh, I am forgetting some. My phone charger. So let's go to Home Depot and Popeyes and Ralph's for some food, yes. Oh, I'm wearing kind of like a warmer outfit. Oh, how about I just show you guys what I'm wearing? I never do that really. The right is all non-outfit attire, but this is my outfit right now. I'm just wearing some open toe shoes, some like sweater dress type thing. It's actually super warm. I thought it'd be a little bit cooler and then I'm wearing a vest over it because it doesn't really look good on its own, but I think it looks good together and looks good with the bag. So let's get out of here. What'd you say? I see you too. Yeah. I see you too. <laughs> Duh. Uh, but we are back. We went. I went to Home Depot. I got my saw thingy, my jiggy. Let me see that. See, I got the hacksaw in the box for it, so I don't cut my fingers off. And then we went to Home Depot to get stuff. And so we're about to put all the groceries away. What? 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 Huh? So let's go with all this grocery, and then I got burgers. I got frozen burgers so I can make burgers soon and I got like stuff to do tacos. I already have a taco meat though. It's gonna be so good. Honestly, I might start cooking them pretty soon. I hope you enjoy that total shop with me haul style vlog. If you wanna see any things I was doing in between all of that shopping, which I actually have some exciting projects going on around the house, I will be posting a vlog soon. I post almost every other day during quarantine. I post everything from helping you figure out adulting to vlogs along the way to entertain you. So please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already. And and have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you, crazy fam. I'll see you soon.